Uh, now, um, we're joined by Ed Parsons. Now, good morning, Ed. Good morning, Ray. How are you? Uh, good to talk to you. You're a geospatial technologist with Google. Yes, great job title, isn't it? Isn't it? Geospatial technologist. And it's a big day for people in Ireland because Google's Irish Street View is going live this afternoon. Uh, That's right. Yeah. And so will you just remind people what this means and what they can see? Well, Street View is um, an add-in to Google Maps that allows you to zoom right in and then finally see a picture of the street that you're looking at. So it's as if you were standing on the street, you can see a photograph, you can turn around, you can look up, you can look down, and you can virtually walk up and down the road. Hmm. Um, so there was, a, there was a bit of hoo-ha about it when this was being done because people spotted vans going up cul-de-sacs and they were wondering if they were, you know, casing the joint, as they say, <laughs> uh, or what, what they were doing. But they were actually Google vans taking pictures. That's right. Hopefully they would have seen the big Google logo on the, on the cars that we had. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, were, they were quite distinctive with the big sort of camera on the roof. Um, and so basically we, we've taken photographs from, from the public streets and hopefully pretty much every, every road in Ireland has been covered, you know, from the city centres all the way out to you know, many little country, country lanes even. It's, 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 it's amazing. In which other countries has this been done? Uh, it's probably uh, well over 20 countries now right. around the world. Um, so you know, the the UK, the United States, France, uh, Italy. And, and it, it's got it's got sort of mixed reactions, hasn't it? Um, I'm just reading here that an American woman started a privacy campaign because she was shaken when she tried Google Street View. She typed in her address, and the screen showed a street level view of her building. As she zoomed in, she could see Monty, her cat, sitting on a perch in the living room window of her second floor apartment, and she thought that was far too much detail for her liking. Yeah, uh, it's quite unusual to be able to see a cat on a second floor window in, in Street View. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, there, there are some people that, that just don't want a picture of their house to appear on the internet, you know, even though the picture is taken from, from the public street. Yeah. So we've provided a very simple tool for people to uh, choose a picture they don't like, um, click on a little link on the website, and uh, we'll uh, take that picture down for them. Of course, the big thing at the time was that if somebody was spotted in somewhere that they shouldn't have been. You know, like if, if, if a woman was leaving her lover's house and she's pictured up on uh, uh, this facility, it's Google Street View, and then her husband, for some reason, types this in, he sees her where she shouldn't have been, and all hell breaks loose. Well, well, hopefully, with designer systems, you can't identify individuals. Right. We put a lot of effort into technology that automatically blurs people's faces and also automatically blurs uh, the license plates on cars. Ah, right. So, hopefully, um, you shouldn't be able to identify anyone. And again, uh, if it hasn't worked perfectly, and we you know, we can't claim that it does work perfectly, again, there's that mechanism that you can remove any individual image. And, of course, people, uh, people get mixed up, I think. They think that it's live. It's not live. These are pictures that were taken in the past. No, indeed it's not live. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were taken uh, at some point, probably last summer. So many of the images, you know, Island Seas, a lovely summer's day. Um, so it was, you know, a picture yes. in one instance in time. Yeah. Um, it, you're going to be, uh, it, it'll crash, will it, this afternoon? Because people have, a, of course, and the first, the first address that everyone's going to put in is their own, isn't it? Indeed. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, we, we have done this before, so hopefully it, it won't crash. And yes, we very much expect people to, to go and, and you know, obviously look at their home and places where they work and, you know, their favourite destinations. And that, that's great. So we see, we always see a big spike in usage when yes. we run yeah. Street View in any country. See what my, my, my house looks like. Oh, it's very attractive house. Uh, John, <laughs> we need to paint the gate. Would you look at, would you look at the gate on Google here? Um, yes, I can't, I can't promise we'll come back and take another picture when you finish the painting, <laughs> I'm afraid. Yeah, you're stuck with it. Uh, it and it's all over the country. Um, all over the country. Very much so. I mean, we, we try to cover everywhere. There may be the odd places that we weren't able to get down because there was a kind of dustbin lorry or a tractor yeah. in the way. Uh, but we intend to cover everywhere. Uh, what's the, you've been sort of, obviously, you're an expert on this, so you've been across the introduction of Google Street View um, across the world, well, you'd know about it. Uh, what's the maddest thing that's happened, or has anything mad happened, or has it all, all been quite sort of boring? 
Oh, there's, you know, the great thing about the internet is, is we provide a mechanism and then other people can start to, yes. to develop applications. One of my favorite ones is a, is a location roulette program where it just shows you a picture of somewhere randomly in the world and you've got to try and guess where it is. And, <laughs> and, and that appeals to me because I'm a geographer. So I like right, that sort right, of thing. Right. So just in your quiet moments at home, um, when you're not in Google Street View office, you go home and you play this on your own computer. <laughs> I'm afraid I do. I and that's sad, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it's four o'clock this evening. Uh, four o'clock this evening. There's another one, Best Urban Images, um, uh, where people uh, sort of, it's a blog thing, where they go on to uh, Google Street View. You probably know about this. And they yeah. sort of vote on pictures. For example, a picture of two young women sunbathing in their bikinis ranked near the top. That is ranked uh, well. near the <laughs> That's yeah. that's the internet for you. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, you you will see you know you will see on on street view images you know pretty much what you would see walking down the road anywhere in the world, and no doubt you will see some strange things. And right. you know, one of the things we expect is is people will find odd images. You know, there was the famous the horse head boy in in the, the UK. The witch head boy. Um, there was a boy with a. It appeared to have a horse's head oh, on right, him. Right, right. And we're never quite sure how that happened or why it happened, but you know, it's one of those strange things. And it, you know, it's clearly someone has spent hours just looking at all the images yeah. to find these ones. And you, you will like it's 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 villages all over the country. Like you will have images of Ballylicky in West Cork. You will have images yep. of of of. There's a place called Ray up in Donegal. You will have Hackball's Cross, uh, Palnagopal in Kilkenny. They'll all be there. Uh, I hope so. I mean, yeah. I can't can't guarantee everywhere, but that's what we've aimed to do. And, right. and if it's not there yet, it, it probably will be in in, in due course. Right, uh, here's, here's a couple of texts in. Um, uh, I'm going to be on Street View in Selbridge. I was reversing down a road and blocked the Google car for a few seconds. Um, and uh, we, we'll have to check our house. Our place used to have a horrible colour on it. We were so proud when we painted it. Now we will have the other colour forever online. Roots disappointed. Just wondering if you could ask when the new water, motorways will be added to Google Maps. Oh, okay. Well, the, um, the the roads we get the uh, actually we get the data from a, another company, so right. we're kind of reliant on them updating the data. But ah, yes. but hopefully, you know, within a few months, we should have it up to date again. And I followed the Google car when I went around my area. I was mooning it. Will it be shown? I don't think that's true because it's impossible to drive and moon at the same time. I've tried it. No, I haven't. <laughs> Sorry, that's only a makey up one. Uh, I, uh, we can't even get our village on Google Earth. Never mind our street. Says Sarah. Uh, well, you might well you might well find that your street is on there now, even, in, even if we don't have a from Google Earth. She's in Ballon in 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 Carlo. Will you ask when will Street View be integrated into Navigator for Android? No, that's a different language to me. Oh, um, how, as soon as it's launched, it should be there. Okay, if a Google car has passed me um, and I put in that road, will I see my car? Yes. Well, you may do. You may do. Um, you may do if it was parked there when we took the picture. Yeah, Ed Parsons, a uh, geospatial technologist with Google. Um, good luck with the launch, and thank you for talking to us this morning. Great, thank you very much. Thanks, bye-bye. Bye, bye. Uh, so that's Google Street View, um, which should be live at 4 o'clock today. Uh, we love looking at our own places. It's odd, isn't it? As if you didn't know what it looked like. Yeah. Well, you, that's what you do. You put your, that's what you do. You go straight to your own house, put in your, put in your dress, and see what it looks like. Yeah. It's strange. A work in transport, it sounds like a great way to find shop locations for van drivers and uh, gone are the days of the aerial photo taken and hung with pride in the sitting room there must be thousands of them around the country Anna and Larry, we talked about them at length in the recent past because on our Happy Days tour uh, we were in people's houses and I think three out of the four at least two out of the three had those aerial pictures uh, where a man used to how are you? would you like a picture of your house from the sky? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be eighty pounds, please. Thank you very much. Eighty pounds. Yeah, they were expensive. Of course, they're expensive. You might have to fly up and take a picture. Do you remember they used to do the traffic from the eye in the sky? Oh yeah. Uh, That'll be your next gig. Your next gig. No. Mike Hogan. Mike Hogan was the man who made a name for himself. The eye in the sky. The eye in the sky. Mickey Joe.